Greetings and welcome to another episode of Caring for You with me, Dr. Terence Drew. Today we're going to speak about weight loss. And the reason why I want to touch this topic is that in Sinkits, we are considered to be one of the fattest countries in the world. So what is the ideal weight that a person should be at? First, let me say it is not all about weight, but in general, for the regular person, we look at your weight for your height. So a taller person we expect can have an increased weight, while a shorter person should have less weight. So we look at what is called the BMI, the Body Mass Index, where we do a formula of looking at your body surface area and we look at your weight in kilograms and we calculate the BMI. The BMI that we consider to be normal is about 18.5 up to 24.9 for the regular person. Below that, you are considered to be malnourished or underweight and above 24.9 from 25 to 30 or to 29.9, you are considered to be overweight and then 30 and above, you are considered to be obese. And so, with that formula, we know that many of our citizens are obese or overweight. However, new studies are showing that black people, which is the majority of our population, tend to have a higher density, a higher percentage of muscle um, per surface area of their body. And as a result, this may not completely um, apply to this, to our population. However, generally, it can work. And so, what are the ways in which you can lose weight? There are a number of pillars, and I will start with one, diet. That is fundamental. So it means, therefore, that you have to try and eat healthy, which means plenty of fruits, vegetables, water, less sugar, less trans fat. Fats are not totally bad. You can have enough saturated fat or enough monosaturated fat, or the healthy fats. So fat should not be totally excluded. You can have carbohydrates, but I recommend the complex carbohydrates and not the simple carbohydrates such as sugar or sugary drinks. I also would recommend healthy protein. Lean meats um, can be considered among those, but plenty fruits, vegetables, water can be a part of a healthy diet. But not, it's not only what you eat, but when you eat. And I'm sure we have heard about intermittent fasting. And that is where we choose a number of hours to eat and a number of hours where we don't consume any type of food, drink with calories. So you can decide that I will eat all my calories in 12 hours and rest for 12 hours. That's an intermittent fast, 12, 12. Then there's a 16, 8, which is 8 hours to eat and 16 hours to rest the body without taking in any um, type of calories and this has been shown to really help to decrease body percentage fat and maintain protein this has been an effective way to lose weight so that is one of the things you can consider the other thing that you can consider um, of course is to exercise fundamental what type of exercise is recommended we think that is best to mix resistance with aerobic exercise at least two days per week of resistant training and the other three days you can use for aerobic exercise so we think that you should have about 150 minutes per week of exercise and most days some people say 10,000 steps per day is is good which is equal to about five miles but we think that just moving and getting up and doing more than you used to be do before would have a positive impact on your health so we had spoken about a diet that you can implement. We have spoken about um, exercise, which is the other pillar. The next one is to get enough rest. We know that people who don't get enough sleep, and even as an adult, you need still your eight hours sleep per night. That helps um, to control um, body weight. Now, once you have started these programs, you will begin to lose weight and lose weight in a healthy way. And as I wrap up, why is it important to maintain a healthy weight? Once, a overweight or obesity is associated with increased cancers, associated with high blood pressure, 
diabetes, heart disease, strokes, and a whole plethora of other diseases, which of course leads to a shortened lifespan. But not only is your life going to be shorter, it's going to be plagued with more disease. So less life to live and less life in your life, so to speak. And so I encourage you to really work on your diet, exercise, get enough rest. And with these simple measures, you can extend your life and have more life while you continue to live. Thank you. And I'm happy that you're able to join me on another episode of Caring for You with me, Dr. Terence Drew.